Today's story takes place in August of 2021. Melly and I had decided to go on a one-week road trip across Austria to visit some remote places on the countryside and one of Austria's slightly bigger cities we both hadn't been to yet. Of course, I wanted to document the trip in some way or another, so I brought along my dear little Lumix to capture some video and my Pentax with just one roll of Kodak Gold to shoot in this week. And so, in this video, I've prepared a little presentation of some photographs that I feel like are worth showing to you. So, let's start with these two photos. I'll be going through the photographs quite chronologically as we experience the trip. So this here is from the first day. We drove up this beautiful mountain road to, I think this is about 1,200, 1,400 meters somewhere in that range. So on the mountain, we walked up a little bit and then came to this beautiful mountain lake. And I don't know what exactly it is with mountain lakes, but I am a big fan of mountain lakes. I just think they are so beautiful. And on this particular day, untypically for me, I was really wanting to take a dip in this lake. Usually I'm quite sensitive to the cold of these mountain lakes because they are really cold compared to the lakes at the bottom of the mountains. But on this day, I really had the will for some reason. I just really felt like taking a dip in this lake. And so I did. And after that, as a memory of our first stop on our trip, I got two photos of this mountain. The first one is the first shot of the roll. As you can see, half of the photo is actually burnt, which I think is a bit of a pity because I think it would have been a really nice photo actually with the cows, as you can see, like right in the middle of the frame some cows were on the other side of this lake and I think maybe I should have gotten another photo to have an unburnt version of it but whatever I didn't get it and then to the right I have a I wouldn't say a wide shot it's not very wide it doesn't really show the whole place we were at it's more like a little part of the scene where we were but it still really shows the beauty of the place that we were visiting it's just that it doesn't show the whole place I've even cut off the top part of the mountain but that was because to get the whole mountain in there I would have had to cut off too much of this um, path that is leading through the photograph and so I decided to just concentrate on the path and have the lake a little bit to the left but not in the whole photo. I don't know, it's sort of untypical because I'm cutting off so many things, but I think it really works. It's like a little sneak peek into the scene where we were, I really like it. Then, here are the next two photos. I'm just a big fan of these photos and I think they turn out really nicely and seeing as I haven't been shooting film for so much time yet, these ones came out quite good for my usual standards. Like, these are really good in my opinion. Like technically speaking. Apart from the technical side, I think these photos are still beautiful because they just show the beautiful view from this mountain that we got. Of course, with a lot of these photos, I am heavily biased because I have an emotional attachment to them, seeing as this was a trip that I did with my girlfriend in the summer and at this particular spot we were having our snack, our lunch. I think we had a few sandwiches with us and we sat on this little bench that's on the mountain and had this view in front of us which in my personal opinion was a pretty crazy view and so I'm really glad I could capture it. So yeah that's these photos. I guess because the emotionality I have with the photos that is partly the reason why I like them so much but I do think that a neutral person like you would probably still like these I guess. So the left photo is mainly to show this huge rock in front of us. I just thought it was really interesting how this mountain side is just straight up. Yeah, I think it looks quite majestic. And so I really wanted to get a photograph of that. And the other one, you can like see a little part of the lake and then just goes off into the distance, which I think is a really beautiful part of this photograph. 
Then here's one more photo from that mountain. This is still from our lunch spot, so to the left of what I shot here is that huge rock. And Millie was just checking out the view and I was composing a shot and then told her to turn around and like snap the photo before she actually noticed that I was photographing her. At least that was the plan and I think it worked beautifully. I love this wind that is going through her hair. It makes it look a bit dramatic and it makes it look a bit more real, not very staged, which um, I quite enjoy in this particular photograph. And apart from that, I just love the scene. I mean, it's a portrait with this far away, beautiful scenery going into the back of the photo, using that as the backdrop. I really liked it. So next, we are still on the same day. We got down from the mountain and drove on to our destination for the day. And this is now really close to where we were going to stay that night, but we still wanted to check out another lake because the area where we were driving is full of lakes. And we decided to park for about an hour and just take another dip in the lake and enjoy the sun and the nice weather. And so the place of the lake that we were at was just along the path that goes around the lake. There were these steps that went down to a rock. We just sat on that rock and enjoyed the weather here. And a while later, this guy with his dog came along. He also went for a little dip and the dog was really happy to cool down in the lake, I think. And uh, so I enjoyed watching them play. The guy was throwing a stick for the dog and the dog just swam out into the lake to bring the stick back. And so I got these two photos just to document the moment. And I think they have something really, mm, like a, a romantic, nostalgic almost feeling of summer. They really represent this summer feeling. It's warm and you wanna go to the lake and this guy is playing with this dog. It's like a little story just about him and his summer. Of course, I have no idea who this person is. But these photos almost feel a little personal, even though we don't know who this guy is. Um, I quite like that. Then, this might be my favorite photo of the whole trip. This was in the morning where we went to, to have our breakfast, because the day before, the first day, we bought some stuff that we'd have as breakfast on this day. And then in the morning, we left our accommodation and drove about 10 or 15 minutes to another lake. As said, this area of Austria is full of lakes. And we drove through this forest road, which was already so beautiful and came out to this lake. And the lake itself is not exactly the most beautiful lake I've seen. It's, I'd say a very average lake. Just the location where it was, was so beautiful. As you can see, we were surrounded by another mountain and it was just covered with trees. And that's why I wanted to get this photo, which is, I suppose, a very classic, almost cliche lake landscape that we've just got the lake and the mountain and the sky in there with this beautiful reflection of the forest in the lake. So it's very cliche, I guess, but I just like it so much because I think as I got this roll back and scanned the photos, I personally found that this might have been the best roll of film that I've ever shot because I just felt like these really worked out nicely and I felt quite secure about these photos. And that's why this is really cliche, but for me personally, it's just so good. I mean, I don't know if you agree that this photo is good, but I personally like it a lot, even though the actual content of this photo is not special at all. It's just a wallpaper. It's just, it's just a landscape of this beautiful place. It doesn't really have any special feelings or a mood that it conveys or a story. It's just a landscape. It's really simple, but I really like it. <laughs> then these photos here are from a couple days later we were by now at the very east end of Austria. We were almost in Slovenia and we stayed in a little town there for a couple days. And this was the last evening before we were going to move on to Graz, the city not far away, about an hour away from here. And we just had supper and the sun was getting low and the light was getting really beautiful. And so before we drove on to the next city where we were going to stay for another two nights, I decided to go on a little walk, just about 15 or 20 minutes and just capture the light, capture the place we were at. And this was quite a remote place and therefore I got the chance to just walk up onto the road without any cars interfering to get this photo on the left with no cars in frame, just the road and the beautiful light and the wonderful trees and the whole mood I think is really beautiful again. It's uh, I'd say quite nostalgic again. And again, it's quite simple, actually. <laughs> it's just a picture of this place we were at, uh, capturing the light. It's really simple, nothing very special, but I like it. As said, I'm probably just biased by my emotions, but um, I was thinking maybe you would enjoy them as well. And then on the right side, it's basically the same again. This, as you can see, is from where I was standing in the first photo, just turned to the left. 
is this scenery here. I just loved how the light was hitting on the field there. And so I wanted to capture that as well. And then here are two more photos from that same walk. These were all made within a couple minutes. And I was walking along the road and came across this house with this pretty big garden in front of it. And it all looked so tidy and I thought it really looked interesting. So I wanted to get this photo. I'm not sure, it almost looks like it's for sale. There's a little sign, but I can't really see what it says. I don't think it's a sign that it says this house is for sale. But it looks so tidy that it almost has this impression of the house and the garden, just the whole thing, being for sale. I thought it was a bit strange, but really cool. It looked really nice, I thought. So I got this photo and just with the lighting, it worked out so beautifully. And the photo to the right is more of a documentative photograph of the people who live here. I mean, there's no people here, but this house looks more like a house that is not for sale. Somebody's just living here. Then the next two photos are from that city that we visited the next two days after the photos I just showed you. So after taking those photos, we hopped in the car and drove for about an hour to this city called Graz. And uh, we had a pretty cool accommodation. It was called the Gin department, I think. Overall, I liked the styling of this apartment. And so these are just two photos documenting some corners of the of the apartment. I mean, it's not exactly the best corners, but it was the corners that had the interesting light. I was sort of chasing the lights because a lot of the corners didn't really have such good light. And so I didn't want to waste a, a shot on the film for the corners that probably wouldn't really look good lighting wise. And so the left photo here is the kitchen and I just really like the light that is coming from outside. It's quite soft because it's quite diffused seeing as it's not directly shining through the window. It's I think bouncing off of all the walls and just the overall daylight that is coming through the windows is pretty soft but because it's coming from behind a bit it gives the whole lighting scenario here a really nice character. And then the right photo is more of this direct light situation. You've got really harsh shadows, but I thought it was really cool having this light from above shine onto this couch. Then here's one more photo from that apartment. This is right outside of the apartment, just in the corridor. I really like this corner because I found it a bit random. There was just these three things, the plant, the blue watering can, and this wooden plate with wheels at the bottom. I just thought this was quite a random scene. It's just this corner in the corridor with these, with these three items. But apart from that, this lighting again, that is coming from outside, making this plant glow in the light. I thought that was so beautiful. So this overall combination of this slightly strange corner but also this beautiful glow coming from outside i just really liked it then here are two photos which i think for my usual stuff is really unusual but if i would be doing street photography i suppose this is what it would look like the left photo i think is like really classic street photography it's just these people walking around they just got off of the tram other people are getting into the tram and i just documented the place i just wanted to get a photo of the city and just the vibe of the place we were at and that's this one and I think it turned out quite okay. It's not exactly the style of photography that I would be pursuing more but I think when you're in a city that you don't know and you're exploring the place this is a really nice way to document what I was thinking and how I was perceiving the city as it was and then uh, the right photo is a bit more touristic I'd say. It's not something as mundane as in the left photo. I thought the lighting here is beautiful, I want to get a shot and I also think it works nicely as a documentation and reminder of what that city was like. Then I've got three more slides and all of these photos on these slides were made on the same day. This is now the last day on our way home. So from Graz I think we knew it would take about four hours to get back home and so we decided with the nice weather that we had, we should stop by at a lake that is more or less in between us and home. And so we went to that lake. Uh, I just really liked Melly's shoes in this scene. These shoes in the green grass, it just really represents the feelings that we were having at that moment, meaning that we were just chilling at the lake, having a good time, relaxing. I just thought these shoes here are like a good representation of that. Then on the next slide, this is after we were at the lake. This was on our drive home now already. Melly was driving and so I could just look out the window all the time and grab the camera when I wanted to. We were driving along this road with the beautiful scenery to my right of this mountain and behind the mountain these huge clouds. These were actually some stormy clouds coming towards us so a couple hours later we actually did get caught up in that storm and in the rain. 
But I just think from the distance, when you're still at the place that the weather is good at, and you can see these huge puffy clouds, I just really like the look of them. And so I tried to get this photo. It worked out quite all right, I think. It's a bit all over the place. It almost seems a bit aimless. I mean, you do understand, I think, what the photo is about, but it's just a bit of a mess, I think. Um, but it shows the clouds beautifully, and I just think these clouds are so beautiful, and so I wanted to get the shot. So I suppose it worked, I guess. <laughs> Then, this is now the last slide I would like to end this little presentation with these two photos which as you can see are very similar. So this was really at the very end, we were maybe about two hours away from home, still driving and I knew I had a couple shots left. And so I was starting to get a bit careless and not as selective as usual because I knew, well, the trip's almost over and I've still got like 10, 15 shots left. And so I saw these clouds and these trees passing and I fired quite a few shots actually. And these are two that turned out really nicely. It was sort of a gamble because I could never check if the photo actually worked, like if the position of the trees didn't cover the clouds that I was trying to shoot. And in these two photos, it worked out beautifully. So in the left photo, we've got the trees make this shape going from high to low and just in the middle we've got that huge cloud so that worked out great and in the right photo I only just got it that the one high tree in the middle is just slightly to the right so that we can see the huge cloud and I just really like the motion blur as well in the, the trees because that just shows this motion that we were in the driving and uh, the clouds are completely sharp so that we can just enjoy the beautiful look of them and that was then the end of the trip and the end of the photos from the trip and as said i'm just overall really satisfied with the photographs i got from this trip i didn't really know when to show them to you but now in autumn summer is definitely over now here we've had temperatures of five degrees and a bit colder sometimes and so i thought why not do a little recap today of a week in summer before we go into winter now in the next month or two i hope you enjoyed the photos i hope you enjoyed the little background stories that i could give you and leave your thoughts in the comments if you enjoyed the photos if you didn't enjoy the photos if there are any photos that something particularly stood out to you i'd be really interested to read through all your comments so as always leave your thoughts down there and i'll see you again next week in the next video until then goodbye